Greetings YouTubers and welcome to the uh, explicated version of training the AI. Um, this time I'll try to be as brief as I possibly can. I won't go into how it works or why it works or how the index file is structured, how to edit and all that stuff. I'll just show the, uh, the fastest way to get this done. Um, in order for the adaptive AI to adapt, we need some data points. In fact, we need two of them. Each data point will come from uh, a two-lap race. So, obviously, we only need two, two races of two laps each. Now, these will all, all be set up the same way. Uh, this example is um, the GG3 set Suzuka. What you need is some opponents, obviously. <clears throat> um, how many? That depends on the class. You need all of them, all the, uh, all the cars in, in the pack, if you possibly can. Um, so something like uh, the DCM 2016s, for example, there are 20 cars in total. You'll need one, so you'll need 19 opponents. GHR3s, there are a lot, a lot more than those. Um, but you can never, ever go above 29, simply because um, 29 opponents in your own car, that's 30. Once you get up to 31 cars on track, that's when the AI was really switched to a different tick. It'll get dumped down a bit, which you don't want. So, I completely lost track. Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'm getting old. Um, race length, set it to something like 10 or 11 laps thereabouts. We're only gonna, gonna do two uh, and simply just quit out. Uh, but if you set it up for two for two lap races, um, weird stuff starts to happen. Uh, the AI has trouble finding the right the right fuel level. Sometimes it pits on lap two about four hundred yards from the finish line, and you now set it up for you know a, a normal normal race, and uh, and we'll leave it at that. What you do need is standing starts, and you need to start last. Um, the reason for this is. As I've explained in some of my earlier videos, when you use standing stars, the first lap does not get added to your to your average in the, in the index file at your own lap times. Which means that uh, when the lights go green, we can simply sit there on, on the uh, on the start line and give the grid a good 15, 20, maybe 25 seconds head start. That way, we are ensured that the second lap we do uh, will be will be uh, free of traffic and. Uh, we won't interfere with the AI slap time and the AI won't even interfere with ours. So better for everybody. Um, both races will be run at um, at a fixed AI and where you start is entirely up to you actually. Uh, I know from experience that my, uh, my GG3 levels is somewhere between 100 and 110 usually. Uh, so I start in the middle, 105. That's simply, and uh, if you have absolutely no idea um, of which level they at, start at 100, simply because the index goes from 80 to 120, so start in the middle. Um, there are a couple of things that should be mentioned first, though, before we do this. First of all, if you have uh, an index file from uh, before the January patch, and you want to try this out, either delete it outright, or if you want to keep it as a backup, rename it, move it to your desktop, whatever, but you cannot use an index file um, that still contains times from the pre-January patch. There are massive differences in the lab times from um, pre-January to post-January. Um, and if you try to use Adaptive AI with the old times in it, strange things will probably happen. Um, I wouldn't attempt it. Second thing, before you do this, make sure you can actually, actually run the, um, the, the card track combo fairly um, consistently. We are, after all, we're trying to get an adaptive AI to adapt to your race pace, and if your race pace varies constantly from lap to lap, it's going to get a little hard uh, for it to adapt. Anyway, that's it. Um, this, I'll, as I said, I'll start out at 105. I'll do the uh, two lap race. Just simply edit that out of the video, um, and I'll see if it's two laps. Okay then, two laps down. Um, the AI did something like 204s, I think, and my personal best to uh, is, I think it's a 208, somewhere in that region. Anyway, definitely too fast. 
not to worry, all we have to do is scooch it down by five. And obviously, if the uh, AI was fast or slow, you scoot it up to 110, always, but always in increments of five. And then we do it again, another two laps. Okay then, so we now have two data points. Um, what we're actually trying to do is uh, figuring out the um, the equation that governs the AI. So it doesn't matter um, what level you're at, you should be able to say, well, I want this, so I want these lap times, and that, thus I need to run this AI. Um, obviously, when you're trying to extract data, uh, sorry, extract an equation from, from data points, the more data points you have, the better it is. However, you can actually get by by, by thus just these two data points. Uh, I will say that the results are better if you start somewhere in the right neighborhood. If your data points are close to your actual level, the results will be better simply because uh, the further out you go from the two uh, fixed data points, the uh, the more variance are in, in built into the into the data into the data that'll be um, extrapolated from it. So, how do we ex extrapolate the data. We don't, because on the Secretary forums there is an extremely clever guy who goes under the username of Pixel Jetstream who has designed a small tool. However, the tool does one thing and it, 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 uh, it edits the index file. Um, and always when you're editing anything in the index file, the race room needs to be shut down. Yeah, we go. So the race room. Um, oh, by the way, I'll uh, I'll leave a link for uh, for the program here. It's I think it's on GitHub as far as I remember. Anyway, I'll find out. How do you start it up? GTR threes. Suzuka. It now has uh, extrapolated similar similar from the the two data points we we had. It has now can come up with um. Uh, an approximate uh, level, uh, lap time for each level. So all you do is take, this is my personal best in, in these two laps, 209.4. Um, normally I'd say that one, 101. Uh, and what the uh, the program will do is it'll insert 99, 100, 100, 100, 103. So you get a bracket uh, of five around the, uh, the selected entry. Um, in this case, it's been a while since I run to Suga, I'm probably get, going to get faster. Yeah, let's jump it up one notch. And it, it, the same, same goes if, uh, if your best lap uh, is significantly better than uh, your average laps, to just scooch it, scooch it down a, a notch or two. But other than that, that last selection, and it is now in your index file. It is. I won't say it's fully trained because it is uh, all we've done so far is um, give give the AI a very good idea of where it's supposed to go and what lap times it's supposed to run when it goes there. But the first two races, one maybe two races, uh, are probably going to be a little strange. What we've given with the AI is, is five options to choose from, but it still needs to decide which one it it, it, it actually uh, thinks is the closest one. So. First, first one, maybe two races to make them short, <clears throat> and they pay particular attention not to uh, to, to ram into the AI too much. But that's it. We are now finished. That's all there is to it. Very, very easy. I will say one thing though: um, the uh, adaptive AI primer here uh, that I'm using hasn't been updated in a while. So in order to uh, to get some of the new stuff, something like uh, Silverstone or or the uh, Audi, uh, sorry, the uh, DTM 16s. Uh, you either need to uh, to edit the asset file yourself if you want, or um, when I post this on the uh, six of three forums, uh, I'll include uh, both my own database and my uh, updated uh, asset file, which contains all of the current uh, content. And I'll leave a link to uh, to that forum post in the, in the description as well. But that's all there is to it, and uh, have a racing.